Welcome, this is Tobias Goebel with Voxeo. Today I'd like to talk about uh, how Voxeo can help you combine the more traditional channels of customer care, like uh, IVR or uh, agent interactions, with uh, social channels such as Twitter or Facebook, and also integrate with um, other uh, modalities such as SMS. And basically our technology enables you to um, automate um, customer interaction, customer self-service, but also um, things like you know, pre-qualification on channels such as Twitter and integrate that with um, you know, an agent interaction through an outbound call or an IVR interaction. So uh, if you've uh, followed us for a while, you know that Voxeo has uh, heavily invested into this idea of unified self-service. You have one application that can run on all these different modalities that are nowadays available, such as uh, voice, instant messaging, mobile web, SMS, but also social networks. So we've taken this idea one step further and we're presenting to you a technology that can help you um, follow the public timeline of, uh, timeline of people tweeting about certain uh, things and mentioning certain keywords and for example buying intents. And our technology can pick that up and lead an interactive dialogue over Twitter with the uh, user and then eventually offer an outbound call to uh, you know, connect an agent to that user to potentially do a, um, a sale of, of a product. So without further ado, let me show you what we've put together for you. Switching over here to my uh, Twitter client, so I'm logged in as a Twitter user. And I'm going to um, you know, tweet about um, the need that I see for buying new car insurance because I'm ha unhappy with my car and car insurance provider. So I might go in there and tweet something like, um, I really need to uh, look for new car insurance. Uh, my current rate is killing me. So I tweet this in the public timeline, everybody can see that, and what happens now is that um, a Voxeo bot is picking up this um, buying intent by inspecting the tweet for certain keywords such as new uh, car insurance, need to, and so on. And it's responding through an automated dialogue that was written in uh, Voxeo voice objects. So after a few seconds in the mentions channel, as you can see here, five seconds ago, Something some Twitter user called Insurance Bot, which is our um, bot, replied to me, mentioning my name, and says, "Need car insurance? DM me your phone number, and we'll call you, or click to talk to us now." So essentially, we're offering two ways to get in touch with the uh, the user. Uh, they can either direct message their phone number to us, to the bot, or if they don't want to leave their phone number, they can just decide to click uh, follow this link, which will open up a landing page for this insurance company, uh, which offers click-to-call functionality. So let me try that. I follow that link. It, it uh, comes to a landing page for this company. Uh, this page now offers again to uh, leave my phone number and you know submit that and tell the system when I would like a call back. Or I can just you know um, decide to click on the uh, Call Me button here on the right-hand side and speak to an agent without even leaving any kind of private information, personal information. So let me go ahead and do that. Thank you for calling Private Insurance. Please hold on while I transfer you to a customer service representative. Thank you for calling Private Insurance. What can I help you with today? Would you like auto insurance or home insurance? Um, I would be interested in car insurance, but actually now is a bad time. But thanks. Bye-bye. Now, instead of following that link um, for the click to talk functionality where I can use my browser as a phone and speak with the agent directly, I could have decided to actually leave my phone number because I don't want to talk now. So let's try that route. So I'm going to uh, send a message directly to um, insurance bot and I'm going to write something like, sure, why not? My number is, I'm going to put my number in here and uh, tweet that and send it directly to the bot. So the bot's picking up my response now and um, parsing the phone number out of my response and um, it's going to do two things. It's going to leave a message again on my uh, Twitter account to say, you know, thank you for, for sending us your number. We'll reach out to you immediately. And also then it'll trigger an outbound call that will uh, essentially then uh, connect me to first an IVR application that collects remaining information, for example, about my car, make and model and then uh, eventually could, uh, connect me to an agent to uh, follow up on that sale. 
All right, so as you can see, uh, the bot has, resp has responded. Thanks, we will reach out to you immediately. So now with, within a matter of a few seconds, I will get a call from the application that will now then connect me to the IVR and ask me for my making model and put me through to the agent. Okay, here comes the call. So I'm gonna pick it up and put it in an loudspeaker so you can hear it. The insurance bot calling to talk about your quote request. What's the make and model of your car? Uh, Ford Mustang. Okay, let me transfer you to an agent to give you a quote for your Ford Mustang. One moment, please. Hello, this is Prime Insurance. You're looking for a quote for your Ford Mustang? I am, but uh, not right now. Can you call me back in like 20 minutes or so? Okay, great. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye. The application scenario that we've put together uses a variety of different Voxeo products. For example, there is a component in Voxeo hosting that um, connects with Twitter and Facebook to, for example, listen to and watch the uh, public Twitter timeline. Um, then we have Voice Objects, which is our uh, application lifecycle suite for multi-channel communication applications. So that product manages both the um, and, and controls both the dialogues that happen on the Twitter channel as well as those that happen on the IVR or SMS channel. For IVR, then we have Prophecy, which um, you know has the VXML browser that interprets voice XML to speak to the caller and uh, basically deliver the IVR uh, experience. And then we have Phono, which is the um, plugin to the web browser that allows us to, uh, to do the click-to-call functionality out of Twitter. To give you an idea of how the um, call flows were built in voice objects, so this is the uh, module for the actual Twitter uh, interaction. So for example, the first thing we do is we follow the Twitter user. Um, only by that we can actually use the direct message channel to, or um, they can direct message us. That's the prerequisite to follow that user first. Uh, we use the Twitter a API to do that. Um, then we start and stop so-called business tasks to be able to track completion rates for this uh, Twitter interaction and that um, has an influence on the reporting that I'll show you in a second. And then you see, for example, here there's the input step that asks the caller for their phone number or the user for their phone number or offers the click to call link. And it is uh, eventually when the pr uh, user provides a valid phone number, we initiate the outbound call using Voxio hosting uh, uh, outbound capabilities. Now, voice objects also drives the IVR uh, interaction. So the voice channel module looks like this. We welcome the caller. Again, we start and stop a business task to track uh, what car, make, and model the user um, enters, or the caller in this case, and then finally do the transfer. Now, uh, with voice objects, you get um, reporting out of the box. So the flows that we've put together here now give us reports, for example, on completion rates both on the Twitter channel as on the IVR channel. So for the Twitter channel, we were, you know, we were collecting the phone number. We want to see how many people actually leave their phone number. So we see a report like this one that says 78% of all people that uh, respond to the bot actually gave their phone number. 16% did not even respond to the initial tweet of our bot. The same way on the voice channel, you uh, can see the numbers of how many people did provide their car make and model and finally got transferred to the agent. So all this comes out of the box with voice objects and uh, in the end you have a full you know um, suite of products to manage both your IVR experiences with your callers and customer care over those traditional channels as well as the new social channels like Twitter. So I hope you liked that presentation. If you're uh, interested to learn more why don't you get in touch with us over Twitter. Uh, our username is Voxale. Thank you. Goodbye.